Good morning. I am gonna do a day in my life today. I start my day off with um, a meditation. I do a little 10 minute meditation, usually in bed. Just wake up, turn on the light, and open up my meditation app. Okay, so I'll meet you back in my room when I'm done with this little morning routine. Let's take your seat and close your eyes. weekend I decided I want to start making more content. I want to start making more YouTube videos. I've been doing it every other week. I want to try to release a video every week going forward. I've, I've got the bug. I got the YouTube bug. If you are new here, I'm Jen. I am a freelance web designer and artist. I quit my engineering job, my software engineering job, um, almost a year ago now to pursue this side business full time. Yeah, that's that's what I, what that's what, that's my story. That's my story. So I thought it'd be interesting to just kind of show you my day, not having a job, not having a boss, and being my own boss. Over the weekend, I was sketching out some flowers and and stuff. I want to take the these the sketch and bring it into my computer and um, work on turning it into a repeating pattern. So then I can put that pattern on my Spoonflower eventually. Spoonflower allows me to style my patterns on fabric and wallpaper and home decor. The goal with the patterns is not to just sell them on Spoonflower. The goal originally was to make them available to people, to, to businesses to license so that they can put my patterns on their products, like their journals. This journal company probably licensed this, this pattern from another artist and then they paid that artist so that they could use it on their product and then they, they sell the product. I've only been licensed once, well, twice, I guess, but one of them was kind of a commission piece. I didn't get paid that much, you know, it was a, it was a very small sum. I haven't given up. I'm gonna keep making patterns and keep adding to my, my catalog, hoping that one day it will all pay off. Is it, is it flashing for you? That's so weird. It's not, it's not flashing for me. I kind of want a matcha. Typically I would make a hot matcha, but I've been wanting to make a, an iced matcha lately. So I'm gonna make an iced matcha latte. <laughs> For all the YouTubers out there, how the hell do you store all your old footage? I'm trying to figure this out. So I have a, I have a giant, I have a hard drive. I thought it was giant. It's um, two terabytes. I thought that would be enough when I bought it. I thought for sure this was gonna last me years. No, it's already, it's already done. It's already full. I can't believe I used up two terabytes of data, of space, of storage. Because I film in 4K, I film in 4K and 4K video footage it takes up a lot of space. It takes up a lot of space if you're not aware. I have folders for each of my videos that I'm making for YouTube, right? The average size of each of those folders is between 150 to 200 gigabytes. That is way too much to <laughs> be putting on this, this hard drive. It, it would fill up like immediately, right? I would only be able to put like 20 videos on there. What I would do is take all the raw footage of 4K and convert it to HD, so 1080p. That significantly reduces the um, the size. It takes a lot of time though. It takes a lot of time and it only reduces the file size by about half. Do I really wanna do that after I'm done editing a video? 
no and the answer is no i don't want to do that i want to be able to just copy everything to a hard drive so that it's there in case i ever need it what do people do like how does this do people just just have a ton of hard drives or do they just delete their video footage i don't know there must be a secret there must be like an industry secret that i don't know about yet i think maybe i just need to stop recording such long files each thing each time i record should just be like a little short clip maybe okay so i should shut this off then got um thai food eggplant i don't eat eggplant very often but it's so good oh my god it's so buttery how does a vegetable taste so buttery and so delicious i don't understand a package just arrived as i was um, preparing my food which i'm pretty excited about and i want you to pay attention to this shot right here because the package that I got is a light. It's a new light for filming. Um, it was an investment piece, I'll just say that. The lights that I have been using are not adequate. Look at how dark it is in here. So we'll be able to see side by side the difference and we'll see if it's worth it. Let me show you the lights I'm using right now so you can compare. I also bought a microphone, like a better microphone that one of those like little clip-on ones that people like to talk into for some reason. So in the second half of this video, I'm gonna use that new mic and the new light. And you tell me if there is a difference in quality of the video and the audio for the rest of the video. Mm. So good. Here's my new light. Woo, baby, this is big. This is real big. What the hell? Wait, what size is this? I thought I got the small size. Look at this thing. Wow. <laughs> this thing is. It's freaking huge. Let's not point it directly at the lens camera. Whoa! Wow! Oh, this is the color. I know. Wow, look at how yellow that is. So let's turn it off and figure out how to attach these things. <laughs> I am just ecstatic. However, this tripod is not gonna cut it. Look at it, it's so heavy. Yeesh. Would a, would a dumbbell work? Can I put a dumbbell on it? Hold on. Maybe all it needs is just like some wider legs. Whoa, that's too wide. Whoa, it's so heavy. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking of doing. Just putting like a little weight on it like this. It even lit up behind it. Uh, this is a game changer, you guys. This is a, let me stand in front of it, oh my God. Can you imagine standing in front of this thing? This is nice. This is really nice. I'm so excited about this. Whew. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, I need to rearrange this room. It's getting really crowded in here. EGI mic. By the way, my cat clock started working again. I accidentally bumped into it when I was setting up that light and it just started working. Here's the thing, I don't know where to put this and I don't really wanna hold it, but I guess that's what I'm gonna do because it's not gonna look cool on, on this sweatshirt, unfortunately. My old mic that I had on my camera, let me show you. This is the one I was using. Um, it's like a shotgun mic, 
I guess. So you just like attach it to your camera and then it picks up all the noise. I live on a busy street. You can sometimes see cars passing on this in this window. And so it would pick up a lot of the traffic noise. However, I realized that that mic was not plugged into my camera properly. It was plugged into the headphones jack, not the mic jack for this for this vlog, for this video only. So that's unfortunate. Um, I guess the audio quality for this whole video is going to be pretty bad. I got a message from somebody that I thought didn't want to do a website. Like I had m met with her a while ago and then I never heard back from her. She never, she never like signed the contract or anything. So I was like, okay, she's probably not gonna hire me, but she's just like letting me down easy or whatever. Turns out she does want to work with me and she's ready to work now. So I have to um, get the contract ready and send it over to her. Maybe set up a customer, like a client portal for her on Notion. I'm going to get started on that um, while I'm eating these. I'm eating some uh, apples, apple slices and some yogurt. I'm dipping the apples in my yogurt and then I think I'm gonna go on a walk. I can't believe my mic wasn't plugged in to my camera this whole time. What a rookie mistake. I am a rookie though, so I guess I'm allowed to make those kinds of mistakes. Better? Hey, I still don't know what to do with this thing. It's time to go for a little walk. I'm not gonna put that there. Just looking for something to listen to. giving away free lemons. The sign said free limes, but these are clearly lemons. I'm gonna get changed. Maybe grab a quick bite to eat. I'm pretty hungry. I have a special way of making of making beans. The lazy way of making beans taste good. Kind of making them like refried style, but you don't really have to fry them. You just microwave them and then mash them a little bit. Just mix up my, my kale. I really need another light. I just bought that giant light that's in my room, but I can't bring it into the kitchen. So I need like a little, a little portable standing light. I have my old light that I'm using right here. See, it's right there, but it's just inconvenient. It's, it doesn't stand. <laughs> So it's just kind of leaning against the wall. It's not really illuminating me that much for being so close to me. Put some quinoa on here. Cool, cool, cool. We got these cucumbers to fill that spot. Just a little bit of lime, just a little bit. We're not even gonna use the squeezer. Tahini. Put it on top of the cucumbers. I made some hummus over the weekend. Hmm, this is the kimchi I get. It's not that good. I mean, it's good, but it's not that flavorful. It tastes a better kimchi. I think because it's vegan, so it doesn't have like fish in it. Well, that's a freaking bowl. Looks pretty good, right? So what I'm doing right now is putting together a little client portal in Notion, not this. This isn't the one. This is the one. I was waiting for her to send me her her full first and last name so that I could finish up the contract. So I'll save that. This is good to go. I'm gonna export it as a PDF and then I'm gonna open up the PDF and I'm gonna sign it. I'm setting up this project portal. So I have up here just like a link to a Google Drive that I set up that I'm gonna share with her and so she can drop photos in there. And then I have a page for inspo sites that she saw that she likes. And then um, down here I have the task timeline. So most of the tasks will be assigned to me. So let me finish filling out these tasks. 
So that pretty much wraps up my day. I wouldn't say it was a typical day in my life because every day looks a little different, but I think it does represent the theme of my life right now. It feels like I'm in the beginning stages a lot these days, not only with my web design freelancing business, but also with YouTube. It's been about four months now since I've started consistently posting videos to YouTube. And although I think my videos have gotten slightly better, there's still so much room to grow and there's still so much more to learn. It feels like I'm building the foundation for this YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see where it goes. Thank you.